I'll be doing a long overdue photo card binder update. I actually have around 300 photo cards to put away, so I will be updating every single one of my binders. So I'll start with Red Velvet Irene. I'll start with my album content photo card binder. <laughs> So I have the pile in order over here. I made spaces ahead of time just so this video is not extremely long, but I think this video is still going to be long because there's so many cards to go through. I'm going to start with these happiness photo cards, I believe. These are not official, but I think it's more fitting to start off with their debut song. But I only have one copy of this card, so I'm going to have to choose a side between this one and this one. So I guess it'll just be like that for now. And this is a group card. I'll probably just put this in the group, the red velvet binder with the other four members. So I'm gonna set these aside because this is solely an Irene binder. I actually did a lot of changes in all of my binders. So first of all, I changed this binder to only album concepts. And I, as much as possible, I'm trying to make it so that each row it sticks with one concept as much as possible like it's not always going to be the case like for example like okay over here is ice cream cake and then over here is um the red slash dum dum concept but this is also from the dum dum album And most of these I showed in a photo card haul, in any previous photo card haul videos. So if there's a card you're curious about, most likely it's in another video. Okay, I changed the lighting, so hopefully there's not going to be a problem with glare. Okay, so rookie. These are unofficial, like it looks like it's from, I don't know where it's from, maybe a magazine or something, but it's kind of nice how it could help expand on the concept. Um, I'm not always opposed to unofficial cards, but I am, as much as possible, like I do not want replicas, but out of my whole collection, um, I think I have one replica of a Karina card but for my Irene collection I would prefer to have official cards and if I use unofficial cards it would kind of just uh, expand on the concept rather than you know just be a straight copy of the official card of course unless I get gypped and I I'm not aware that it's a replica but yeah bad boy I think this was peekaboo I think I'm missing a space for a bad boy, which is not good. Okay, I had to do a little editing to make room for this official card. So, moments like this, uh, you get rid of the unofficial card <laughs> to make room for an official merch. So I had to take out that rookie card, but later on I'll make space for it. You know, I already pre-planned it. I don't want to push everything back and take forever to do this. So I'm going to just go ahead with the rest of the cards now. I think I should put that there. So Summer Magic. So that's an official sticker. I still need the other sticker that kind of looks like uh, this photo shoot over here. So whenever I do get that, I'm gonna have to make space again. So now we're down to Sappy. And I finally got this card um, from their Forever Love Baby Party. So that goes well. That goes well with the other two album photo cards because the background is pretty much the same and she has the same costume on. Um, I think I'm leaving spaces for this because I'm just going to fill it up, fill up the whole row with the same card or if I get some other RBB concept card. And this, um, this RBB binder photo card goes well next to this other one which is from some other merch that I can't recall right now and over here I'm gonna have to like fill up th this row with another RBB card another RBB concept card but for now there's gonna be a space I'll probably get another one of these just to like balance it out um 
yeah, these are already full. Uh, I don't know what I'm planning to do here. But I, I just left a space just so that all of these psycho cards could be together. So I'm just trying to do that as much as possible, but it's not always going to be perfect like that. Like over here, um, there's two uh, finale cards and then it jumps straight into monster. So um, over time, I'm going to have to kind of make it a little more balanced. Now I have this monster. Um, I guess you would say it comes with a merch. I think you purchase like some kind of perfume with this. But it goes so well with these official stickers and then that guarantee that other guarantee card and these are queendom i don't think i have any new queendom cards but i'm gonna have to fill this up with one of these photo cards just to make that um look better these are three different cards but she's wearing the same costume and it's from the same photo shoot obviously so these are three official cards um one of them is sm global shop and the other two are from some kind of queendom merchandise and i'm thinking of filling this up with either this hologram type of card or another mumo card so for the feel my rhythms i got a lot of irene pools or i just like the cards so much that i got more than one but it worked out because it makes these kind of fills up the page with the concept nicely um yeah so obviously you could see this is my favorite photo shoot I got these cards which are all pretty much the same costume and I have one SM Global Shop Feel My Rhythm photo card. So this page is gonna look very nice. It's gonna go over here. It matches very nicely like a mixture of selfie cards with um, photo shoot cards. Very beautiful. This is my favorite page of the bunch. These are from the same line but from two different comebacks. So I thought this looks, these would look uh, pretty good together. And now we're gonna jump straight into birthday. Um, I definitely want to fill this up with more of the pink hat photo shoot, but I only have two of these for now. So it's not exactly all filled up with the same photo shoot. And I'm going to put this official sticker over here. And on to the next page. These are birthday trading cards from that random pack. At least two of these were my pools. Two or one of these. And here, this is more, um, I think it's just like birthday merchandise. Yeah from various birthday merchandise. So it could be the coin case or the, whatever that was. There's like a projector or just a photo, postcard slash hologram photo set like this one. For some reason I have three of them. Oh, I think I need to replace this sleeve. I finally got new ones that came in so I could replace some of their sleeves with one that I know won't damage it over time. Try to put the same photo shoot together as much as possible. More merchandise, birthday merchandise cards. And finally the Cashby card. These will go nicely together because it's all with the same costume all together over here. Then it goes into the album photo cards. Album photo card and final one over here. And I think, yeah, this is my last update. I think this came as a freebie with something. So I got another one of these monster album cards, the lenticular, and it's a group, or I guess a duo photo card. So that's why it's gonna go at this last page over here. Okay, that was the updates for my album concept binder. Now I'm gonna go into the non-album concept binder of Irene. 
So I don't think this binder has been introduced yet. I got a separate one in purple. I believe this is an Ultra Pro binder. So the other one was a Vault X binder. I got it in pink because that's her member color. But the second one, I didn't want to get them confused. So I decided to get purple. And I believe the two colors of her recent birthday party event was purple and pink. So I think it's quite fitting for Irene if you were gonna choose a color for your photo card binders. But the first updates are gonna be for season's greetings. And there's so many of them. Pretty much the same two outfits recycled over and over and over. So if you were to ask me which photo card is from which website, I cannot always tell you the answer. But I do remember this is SM Town in store because it's a horizontal photo card and the clear one obviously it comes from the um, regular season's greetings. These other ones are pre-order benefit cards but it's pretty much the same photo shoot and slightly different pose or maybe the same pose but with some kind of hologram effect on it. So um, that's why I don't really sweat about collecting Season's Greetings pre-order benefits because it's just pretty much getting the same card over and over for the most part. So you can see like, this is more close up, but it's the same photo and this one's a little zoomed out. So it's not always the immediate priority for me. But this one's my favorite one out of the whole Season's Greetings bunch. I love this photo shoot. This one too. So. The thing with the pinkish, reddish background. And the outfit screams boss queen. Okay, that's the season's greetings page. Okay, right now is the superstar SM photo cards. I had one more somewhere here. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we got three superstar SM photo cards from the recent R2V concert that happened it's such a bummer that joy has to sit out for health issues because i know they have like upcoming concerts in uh japan philippines i don't know if it happened already but it's also uh very important for idols to watch their health before overworking them but the moment they sell tickets for the U.S. tour. I swear I'm going to go to every single show. So still crossing fingers that they're going to come to the U.S. Please do. And I'm not sure why I left these spaces open. Oh, I guess if I do get other Superstar SM photo cards, then it could be pushed back over here. But not immediate priority because those are freaking expensive. Now, filling up some LaRouge photo cards. I think I have all the fortune cards now, including with this one too. So I just need one more card, but it kind of looks like, it looks similar to this, but I think she's looking forward and it's a hologram card. So I'm on the lookout for that one to finish the whole La Rouge, well this is it's only here, the whole La Rouge um, concept. And this one is La Rouge Japan, a La Rouge Japan card. So these two go together. They're both from La Rouge Japan, even though this is a cycle outfit and this is like from day two. But this whole thing is a La Rouge photo card page. So now I guess it's like that was their online concert, Queendom, and then 2021 SMCU Express, and the whole SM Town Live photo cards over here. Um, what was I gonna put here? Oh, I think I'm supposed to put um, more R2B cards over here. Everything got out of order. Okay. Yeah, so I guess I'll put R2B cards over here. Yeah, so S SM Town to the R2B. I mean, if it ever goes in the slot. So these are lucky draw cards. Um, I just happened to get two copies of them. Because one of them came in a really good deal, but... I think it's a little easier to find these online now, so 
I probably should try to get a third card to fill up these spaces. Or not, because I think I'm expecting some RTV Japan photo cards to come in. This needs to be replaced. So, yeah. Maybe I'll just keep it keep it with just two of those cards. I don't know. I think I only showed one of these from my haul because two of these came in later. But um, I guess I'll just, I guess it would be these two because I have to change the sleeves. So I'll show it up close. So these are RTB fortune cards. There's three possible versions, one selfie card and two of these photo shoot cards. Absolutely gorgeous. I sort of like Red Velvet Irene is pretty much like Sundara Park from 21. The fans like to call them like vampires because they never age. And they're extremely beautiful, of course. So yeah, it looks pretty nice. I just have to wait for um some Japan R2B cards to come in, and then I could fill this up. But there's that page. And now um, into the birthday slash anniversary photo cards. So I looked it up and actually these came first, and then these two, and then these. So some are anniversary photo cards while others are birthday. This is a Red Velvet three year anniversary photo card. I decided to just make this page somewhat chronological. And Irene had a birthday party this year, so I'm expecting another photo card. Um, I guess next haul or photo card binder update. Uh, this is like the SM merch for each of their idols' birthdays, so they release it during their birthday month. So I thought it fits in this page, even though over here is Anna, like these are anniversary and then these are also anniversary cards, but I guess I'm just mixing birthday and anniversary together over here. And then just grouping all the eighth anniversary together because I have so many of them. So from that, now we're gonna go straight into SMCU Palace. This was a duplicate duplicate pull. I think I pulled this membership photo card too. So I got some of the photo cards ahead of time, but I think I pulled my first Irene. May or may not. One of these were pulls. It's going to be a lot of the same photo shoot concepts together. But these are from the recent SMCU merch. These all kind of look similar. Then next page. This was an album photo card. That giant box that had slippers, a door, a doorknob sign, and a fake voucher so this is kind of like a, a room key card and finally the lint uh what do you call this thing hologram photo card so that's my smc palace page and i'm gonna fill it up with pink christmas photo cards Pretty sure something's supposed to go there. So, G Market, Time to Love. I think this one's also Time to Love. This is gonna go over here. So, non album photo card. And finally, the last thing is this Sheila card over here. This was like a gift card back in the day. But now it's a collectible photo card. 
and that's the final update of my Irene non photocard binder collection. Next, I'll be updating Karina album photocards. And SM is releasing so many different photocards that I have to have a separate binder for the album photocards and the non album photocards. I'm just going to start updating, start putting them in their slots. And like I mentioned earlier, I made spaces ahead of time just so this video doesn't take forever, but it's still going to be most likely be a long video. Into next level. Into dreams come true. These are got the beat stickers from their step back days this page is full of like photo cards from other countries like with bands or uh, fans land i think this is for b2s or something like that or just like those misc photo cards so this is all life's too short stuff so there was like a separate Life's Too Short pack and a girl's random trading card pack. A lot of these looked similar like this. This was from like a second trading card release, but it looks just like this. So I actually accidentally purchased a second one of this because I mistook it for this second release because it's from the same time. These photos are taken like probably seconds apart. Word of advice, probably have a photo card template by your side before you make any purchases, but I'm always winging it. So some of these are pre-order cards and others are um, from the album itself. Okay, those were the updates for the album concept binder. This is another new binder. This is the Karina non-album concept photo card binder. I decided to get it in blue because I believe Espo's colors are pretty much like purple and blue mixed together, right? So uh, because the other binder was purple, I just decided to get this really pretty shade of blue for the um, non-album concept binder of Karina. And this is from the one of the SMCU Palace merchandise. Uh, I've been meaning to washi tape it over here to make it kind of like a cover page and without cutting it or anything because it pretty much fits. So I'll do that next time. So the first update is going to go straight into the 2022 season's greetings. And once again, all these season's greetings photo cards are so similar. So there's no particular order this is going in other than similar photo shoots. So I think this was from like the recent um, season's greetings unboxing I did. Well, season's greetings merch. So this was from a collect book. And some of these are from the normal season's greetings, while others are like pre-order cards. And that's this 2022 season's greetings page. Now from SMCU, what do you call it? Like SM Town Live, SMCU Express into um, the other SM Town concerts, then SMCU Palace. And I actually really enjoyed the SMCU Palace um, theme. I said this multiple times, but I just really liked everybody's photo cards, the concept, the snow, Christmas theme. Very nice. So I actually really enjoy having a whole page dedicated to that because it's just like just really happy. Then into Pink Christmas random pack cards. I pulled so many 
of these Karinas. But I actually only got like three out of the four possible poses, so it's a good thing I ordered ordered it beforehand so that I'm not missing any besides the hologram versions of the cards, but it's not really a, an immediate priority because it's the same picture anyways, just with the hologram effect. And I guess if you really want to, you could use the sleeve with, you know, the holographic effect. Maybe I should do that given how many of the same photo cards I have. Okay, that's Pink Christmas. Oh my gosh, if it ever gets in there. I kind of prefer like concept, like full concept photo cards or um, selfie cards. The ID ones are like, it doesn't really make sense to me, but I still collect it because, you know, it's part of the, part of the things to collect, but it's not exactly my favorite cards to get. I think I'm still waiting on some bag photo cards too. That came with the Hyperline concert merch as well as the pop-up shop so i know there's a lot of structural changes going on in sm but they're really you know squeezing the money out of their collectors okay so i guess the next is anniversary stuff because this was from their first anniversary event okay here's the anniversary page Maybe this was meant to go there. Okay, so Hyperline. I don't know why I have two spaces here. Okay, so now it goes into kind of like... Um, merch photo cards? More merch photo cards. Okay, I'm changing the order again until I decide what to do later on. So I just pushed the Everland stuff over here into pop-up shop stuff um i guess this is supposed to be like endorsements and this is a game card so i'm just gonna stick this over here because i don't know where else to put it for now but this was a oh wait maybe it could go back here maybe i guess it could go over here so this was a birthday photo card i guess technically it should go next to the anniversary stuff here that's what they should do. Maybe I'll just put this here. <laughs> Even though this is a newer card than here. So in the future, we'll probably have to follow this page. And this ID card is back over here. So Hyperline, Anniversary stuff, um, MISC, like pop-up shop endorsements and then i guess the rest will be for the upcoming okandy merch and that's the karina update next i'll update the rest of espa i feel like my winter collection is kind of growing as well as pulling giselle so i might have to um separate winter once i decide to collect more of her photo cards but um, I guess I'll just show some edits I did because it's getting so full I had to take out some cover pages But I left this one from their BB photo shoot because I just really like the photo shoot and it's labeled Espa's photo album So it's pretty fitting Added some SMCU palace stuff in here and season's greetings As well as hyperlink season's greetings then added uh, some postcards so Karina inclusions are still in here so that's another reason for this binder getting extremely full so SMCU palace these are kind of like just duplicates so this is this is the replica I was talking about I decided to not include it in my other binder because it's a fake card but I'll leave it in here Espa girls concept photo cards well I guess stickers and got the beat stuff. This cover page over here is new. This was from an SMCU Palace welcome kit merch. So I had to trim the poster a little bit to make it fit into this plastic sleeve. So my cover page is a lot more simplified. 
So I'm going to start with my winter updates once I find the slot for it. I guess it starts here. So it's going to start with Life's Too Short or Girls trading cards. I can't tell if this is my sleeve. So I guess it goes here. Then we have a Life's Too Short Cashby card. So, um, like I mentioned before, I don't, it's hard to remember which cards come from which because it's a lot of the same recycled photo shoots. So I kind of just put similar photo shoots together as much as possible. So these are pretty similar. These are similar and these are all from the same photo shoot too. So we got this page. This is girls stuff. Yeah, that's probably the case. I know I should label them, but I just don't got the time for that. And my method is all about not, I don't know, winging it. But I do plan it ahead of time, but it's just like, if I'm going to label it, and then once I put the card in, it's kind of like a waste of paper. So I'd rather just spend the time kind of like scrambling, like, wait, where does this go? Okay, so I'm hoping that's supposed to go there. So from girls to got the beat, what was the song called again? Stamp on it. Stamp on it, photo cards. Now we're at SMCU. So I'm guessing from SMCU, it's gonna go to SMCU Palace. And I did not pull any of her photo cards. So all of these are SMCU Palace merch cards. So I actually could select it because I, I got the merchandise, but I have zero SMCU Palace album cards. So I'm pretty happy with what I have now. Then this is my single season's greetings photo card of winter. So from that year into 2022 season's greetings. But we have so many cards to go through. We still have hundreds of cards to put away. So I'm gonna try to pick up the pace a little bit and then make edits later if anything needs to be better organized. Oh, and I guess now it's pink Christmas photo cards. And this was the only time I pulled winters, but they were all like duplicate photo cards. So that was a little funny. And I guess now it goes into second anniversary stuff. Hopefully I have enough pages, but luckily these kind of binders are easier to edit because you could add or remove these nine pocket sleeves without having to like rearrange all the cards before or after it to make room. Okay, so that's second anniversary. It's exactly for 11 photo cards. So I guess in this case, different concepts or different arrows are kind of just gonna be pushed together. So pink Christmas to second anniversary to Hyperline, I guess. Probably have to rearrange it later. Now Valentine's Cafe photo cards from their Japan pop-up shop. And here's a birthday card, her birthday month card, then a pop-up shop card. And finally, the single Okandy photo card I have. Okay, that's the winter update. Now it's gonna be the... Oh, actually, let me show the postcards. So there's SMCU Palace, Girls, uh, Season's Greetings, and just something from the recent SMCU Palace collect book. Or I think it was like the photo plus Polaroid and photo card. So now I'm going to update Ning Ning stuff. And her and Winter are the members I pulled the least. But for the first time in a while, I get to do a pretty big update of Ning Ning and Giselle. So these are all um, Season's Greetings photo cards. So some from the official 
box, like the actual Seasons Greetings products, while others are from like a pre-order photo card set. And I pulled at least one or two of her photo cards from the Pink Christmas random packs. This one must be third party purchase because the sleep is different. Then I think I did pull this, so that's a rare occurrence. And finally with the SMC Palace stuff. So that's the Ning Ning update. Now from Ning Ning to Giselle. So I finally finished the set of Life's Too Short LA photo cards. So I could gladly add that into my collection and now add some Seasons Greetings photo cards as well. And it's very important to put these away before the My World album comes out. I'm super excited to see what concept they do next. Like what happens after they defeated Black Mamba. And I haven't pre-ordered my album because I am expecting the US albums to have more photo cards or inclusions. So that's why I'm kind of waiting on that. Okay, so that's my ESPA update. Now I'm going to update New Jeans photo cards. I have a new binder over here that I got because the design was super cute. But I found out it was actually a binder that could only fit two by twos. So I was thinking of putting non photo card or non album photo cards in here, but I feel like I prefer storing things in bigger binders. So I might put duplicates or unofficial photo cards in here for now until I decide if I really want to put my new jean stuff in here. But I thought it was kind of fitting because. One, I like Sailor Moon, and two, uh, the main character's name is Usagi, which means bunny in English, or like rabbit. And it also has, you know, like these cute rabbit designs. So I thought it would be pretty fitting, but I'm just gonna test it out and see if I like it over time. But I'll just start with the main update. And there's actually a lot to put away. I did add some new stickers in the front. Some are from their Seasons Greetings, First EP, and uh, from OMG. So I still have the Seasons Greetings as my cover page. Um, oh, I guess this was new. Like, I got Minji, Hedden, and maybe Honey for my pre-order benefit from Weavers. But those are pretty much the same. In the front, I'm adding group photo cards and I kind of just added this poster I had. It used to be in the end of her collection but I decided to put it at the front and add an OMG postcard here because why not? And for these, these are the Weavers photo cards from the first EP. It comes with two photo cards for each version. So one, two, three. But that makes two spaces, so I'm trying to decide what to put in these empty spaces. Whether I should put like a duplicate of it, or just leave it empty, or put something else there. So I'm still deciding. And these are all the seeds and screening stuff, so now I guess... I guess, um... Maybe album photo cards first? So let me find Minji. She's somewhere here. And I know there's those Weavers cards too. So this is the one I pulled and then I got the other versions um, from a third party. But I guess I'll start with the album photo cards. I'm probably going to do the same idea, like put album photo cards. And if there's any broadcast or pre-order benefit photo cards that look similar to it, I'll probably put them next to each other. For now, I need to sleep these guys. And these were from my unboxing from way back when, like when OMG first came out. I got all the albums, so that means I got all the photo cards. So the only ones that I purchased 
that I didn't, I guess, pull myself are two of the Weavers versions because I did get an extra um, Weavers version, a Weavers pack, but it ended up being the same set of photo cards. So I just decided to just, you know, get it online. Oh, I guess it comes with two of them too. Hmm. Some of these cards look like other pre-order cards I've seen. And I don't have all of their photo cards memorized by heart, but this outfit looks familiar. I guess I'll just put it um, in the nine pocket page and then make adjustments as I see more similarities with other photo cards. Because as much as possible, I would like to organize it in some way like so that it came from a certain version of the album or not this definitely this look was from their first ep so i have i think that's my only broadcast card of minji i don't get too many because new jeans cards are kind of crazy to purchase online and this one was one of those pre-order cards so i do see similarities Hmm, how should I do this? Maybe this will be in the second page. Hmm, but I thought I had a broadcast card somewhere here. This is why I would have preferred to do a monthly photo card binder update, but I've been super busy with life. I finally took time to do this. Oh wait, here it is, I'm so blind. Broadcast card is over here. Okay, I would like to double sleep this. Yeah, I dedicated this entire day to being able to organize these cards. Okay, so I guess I'll have to remember who, what is what. So this is from the Minji um, OMG album version. I forgot what they were called, like message card versions. What am I doing? Oh, I guess these are like the Weavers photo cards. So, um... Most likely I'm gonna change the order once I like do another scan of things. There's like three versions over here. I'm gonna put this possibly shoppy card next to this photo card. And then I guess this will go here for now, even though uh, it matches I might put it over here actually. I'm gonna change the order later, so this is just temporary. This broadcast card has to go somewhere too. But for now I'll do it in this order. Just so that it could finally get stored and not just be treated like a deck of cards. for now because I know it looks like this I'll just put it here right looks so similar and huh. I don't know just for now Okay, so we got that, and I have like two Weavers cards. This is like Weavers Japan photo card, so I'm just gonna put it there as a space filler. Just so I could finally put things away. Okay, so that's the Minji update for now. I'll probably fix some things later. In the sea of message card versions and Weavers versions, there's some pre-order cards here, like this one, this one. Well, no, that's a broadcast card, broadcast card, broadcast card, and pre-order cards right over there. So I'll come up with a final order later on. This video is getting super long. Okay, now we're gonna update head in my second bias, maybe first bias over time. 
Um, let's find her pack. Karen. And find her in the new jeans version over here. So I already see a similar outfit to the broadcast card here. So I already know this is going to get paired together somehow. I'll just put it there. I have five cards here. Probably should sleep it. There's also like um, lucky draws from Universal Japan. But those, the prices for those are freaking crazy. And I think I'm expecting, I think it's Yeezy U or like some other pre-order card. So there's just a lot to keep up with with all these groups. So thank God people make photo card templates online to kind of help you um, sort things out. Let's get the hair in. Weaver's versions. Oh, I'll just leave it like this for now and try to just put the album cards away first. Then I had some pre order cards somewhere here. I think it was this one. I just realized I have way more cards, so I'm going to have to go back to Minji later. So it's going to be kind of a crazy ride. This realization, I think it's going to be kind of hectic. Um, let's just jump to Hami so we could get the album and Weaver's cards out of the way. Uh, I saved these spots for... Um, the broadcast cards from the first EP because this cover page and this photo card looks exactly alike. I mean, it is exactly alike because it's from the same photo shoot. So I'm going to finally put these broadcast cards away. It's been like just in storage for the past few months. Okay, now we're going to go into the album cards I don't think I got any broadcast cards of Hani. Just gonna put it away as is in random order for now. Then I'll find her Weaver's cards. This one and this one. One with this one. Put it on the next page just so things all the versions stay together for now okay that's weaver's cards um this is uh what is this weaver's japan pre-order card music korea stuff and i have a duplicate for some reason huh maybe this might be a good time to put it in the other the small binder so let's see what happens after i put everything else away um okay so from honey now we're gonna go to the danielle update i haven't decided what to put here yet but since um i know i don't know what to do with your cards i'll just put that there for now okay let's find her pack Gonna put away all the album cards first. Next are Weaver's cards. And the rest are pre-order cards, but um, I'm thinking of moving some of these to the small binder later on. Okay, so... That's the Danielle update for now. Going into the Heian update. So 
That was my hay in update. And I realized I have these photographs to put away too. So maybe I'll just use that smaller binder. Oh yeah, and here are other updates. I think I had a duplicate of the Minji one, but these are Weaver's pre-order postcards. They're lenticulars. This is a Universal Music Japan pre-order benefit, so it's actually like a file holder, but I just decided to make it like an end page. And for the rest of these um, non-album cards, probably pre-order cards and some unofficial cards, I guess I'll put it in this little Sailor Moon binder over here until I have more of an idea of what I want to do. So I already added this. This is like a Music Korea duplicate. So I'm just going to put this over here. But um, maybe I'll do it like each page by member. And this was like a choice music free photo card. Oh shoot, wrong one. So, um, most likely this organization is going to change, but I'll just use it just so they'll have somewhere to go for now. These four are pre-order cards of Minji. Um, I'll stick with the official stuff first so I could figure out what to do later. So, Honey Weaver's Global card. And another reason why I'm unsure, I don't know if this is PVC free. So uh, I got these sleeves separately. So I'm, I don't know if it's truly PVC free or not. Is it Korea? Um, am I missing something here? Oh yeah, I have Yes24 cards over here too. I just have so many different photo cards to put away. Okay, so my camera died, so I made some edits off camera while my phone was charging and I decided to make this binder kind of like a duplicate slash unofficial photo card binder. So these are some duplicates and these are like the shop photo cards. So it goes from Minji to Hani. Then from there to Hedin, Danielle, and I don't have any unofficial or duplicates of Hayen, so that's what this binder will be for now. And I made a little bit of changes in the new jeans binder. So some photo cards are not with their, their album versions. So like for this, um, I wanted the broadcast cards in the middle just for more protection, I guess. And I put these similar outfits together. This one is actually a pre-order photo card. So it's like in between these two um, message card album photo cards. Then over here, these are still Weaver's cards, but I decided to put some like this uh, pre-order Shopee. I think this is Shopee photo card next to this because they look similar. Then the next page is like the other pre-order photo cards or um, like that light stick photo card. And I forgot I had these two. Um, these were from the New Dake collaboration. And they're actually, I think they're supposed to be like cake standees. But I'm gonna just treat it as a photo card. and just place it over here. And I'll do the same for the other four members. So I did the same thing over here. Um, I think it's a mixture of Weaver's and message card version photo cards to go along with this broadcast card I had and a Weaver's Japan pre-order photo card and these are weaver's cards weaver's cards supplemented with this shoppy pre-order benefit photo card and then the rest of the pre-order cards and i will add this along with it
I did the same for Hani with the order. It just depends on what the outfit was. I don't have any broadcast cards for OMG, but I do have this Weaver's Japan pre-order card and a few like this one. And I just added these in. So I'll add that new Dake standee card next to Yes24 and the light stick photo card. And for Danielle's, I don't have any special photo card, so I just put the light stick photo card over here because there's a huge gap. So um, it's almost the same for all members, but there it just the order depends on what or on how the photo card looks like. In this case, I'll just have to scooch this ditto standy right over here. And the same for Hayen too. Mm. Maybe I should put her light stick photo card up there too, because there's a gap. Seasoned greetings, um, OMG stuff. And over here too. So these are all Weaver's photo cards and these are the album cards. And because there's a gap there, I guess I'll just place it in the center. Oh, and my final update, I realized I have to add these group pre-order benefit photo cards too. And I have three of them from three different shops. So I have an extra page in the front. So these are group photo cards, their debut and season's greetings. This will be for the OMG EP. I probably showed these um, in a photo card haul months ago. Okay, this photo card binder is getting full, so I'm not sure how it's going to be in the future. But for now, this is my new jeans binder. Now I'm going to update my twice photo card binders, starting with my Mina collection. <laughs> So I have a separate binder for Twice Mina, another binder for Twice's Sui, Sana, and Momo, and finally a binder for the rest of the members. Um, quite a bit of changes. I changed the cover page to the uh, poster from Ready To Be. I just rearranged all the inclusions. So this binder used to be Sui and Mina, but it started getting really full. Um, I don't think I showed this one. I didn't pull the autograph of Mina, so I had to purchase this. So it's a real autograph and a photo of Mina from the Ready To Be album. Um, added Season's Greetings stuff. Ready To Be inclusion. And I have some Yes I Am Mina postcards and into the photo cards. So my first card that I got is from the Feel Special era. I guess they'll go here. It's a monograph card. Okay, so Feel Special Mina. Going into Eyes Wide Open. Now, on to their recent comeback, Ready to Be, and they are on tour right now. I mentioned in my haul, I don't know if I'm going to see them in LA yet. Um, I could very well purchase tickets, but it probably will go, <laughs> probably be sold out by then, but um, I'm kind of waiting to last minute to decide if I want to go because I've seen twice many times, even though I really love them. But uh, I've seen them multiple times, like almost every year. Before COVID and after COVID, of course. Okay, now I'm gonna start putting in these album photo cards. And the way I organized it at the time, it kind of kind of went out of order. I guess these go together. But yeah, I try to put 
um, similar photo cards together. Like when she is wearing the same style, same outfits. So I started with one of the pre-order cards and then follow it with that same outfit into the next pre-order card followed by the album photo cards and then the lucky draw slash pre-order benefit photo cards. This one, I love this outfit. So pretty. I want to grow my hair like this. Or I want to cut my hair like that. It looks so pretty. probably hear my dog snoring in the background. Maybe you do if your headphones pick it up. Okay, now we're at the pre-order benefit cards and these are similar outfits as her digipack book and this group card. I think I put the other group cards in the sauna section, but maybe I should leave some spaces because I have like multiples of it. Oh no, nah, I'll just, I think it's already pre-planned so I don't have room, but I'll make adjustments later. These were lucky draw if I remember correctly. And I guess it goes into season's greetings or not. Let me make sure this is the correct spot. These are Susan's greetings cards. I wonder why I had a gap then. I guess for the next comebacks. Okay, that was the update for my Mina collection. Um, I don't think there's anything new besides moving like posters and inclusions around, but that was my Mina update. Okay, so I'm using a different camera now. It's going to be kind of tricky to do because um, my phone actually lost storage. So I'm using a totally different camera, so um, the audio might be a little weird. The next update is Chewy Sui. Here are the autographed pools I got. I left the other members in here too, even though this binder is strictly for Sana, Momo, and Sui because I don't want these damaged in the other type of binder that doesn't have a zipper. So I kind of simplified um, each of the cover pages. And I'm actually at the side over here because this camera is a lot more bulky. So it's going to be kind of odd right now. How I'm doing this. I'm actually standing to the side. Or I guess I could sit down. Let's see how this goes. I'll try to hustle. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the ready to be. Come back. And just try to fit everything there. And the tripod on this table is humongous. I mean, the camera I'm using, it's, it's not a DSLR. It's a, actually a mirrorless camera, but the tripod is a lot larger than the one I usually use for unboxings and photo card binder collections because I just use my phone. So I'm hoping there won't be too much um, issues with the focus and stuff like that. Okay, so that's the Sui collection. On to the Sana. And I have one eyes wide open photo card here, so it's going to go along well with that pre-order card. Now to ready to be. These nine pocket sleeves are not that easy to insert photo cards in.
this sleeve is kind of strange. So I use these for um, the binders that don't have the three rings, like it's kind of spaced differently. But I ran out of the, I think they're called Ultra Pro. So I'm using these for my regular three ring binder. Um, yeah, my regular three ring binders. So it's a little awkward to use. Okay, so I think, oh wait, there was sun over here. It wasn't that many photo cards. I knew there should have been more. Believe it or not, these are different photo cards. So that these outfits go together. And then this one will go with this outfit. And then the Digipack outfit goes with these, these unit cards. Okay, so that's Sana. Now we're going to Momo's section. Now here's the Momo page. Added that postcard there. And I guess the update starts with ready to be. So I was like pondering like she kind of looks like somebody and I feel like in this comeback she looks a lot like Yuri from Kata especially with that haircut because they recently well I guess a couple months ago Kara had a comeback for their anniversary she looks a lot like the leader of Kara okay so I guess I'll put this photo card with this photo card Oh yeah, and then it was really awesome seeing Nayeon and Momo dance with Taeyang from Big Bang because he's coming out with a solo album. And um, I don't know if I ever mentioned in this channel, like Big Bang is actually my favorite boy group, K-pop boy group of all time. Like even though, you know, they kind of went through a lot and we don't know if there's ever going to be a comeback besides, you know, their digital single that they released without any promotion but they're my ultimate so it's really awesome seeing their gen idols like Momo, uh, Lisa, Nayeon, Jimin from BTS like seeing BTS and Big Bang or a member of Big Bang collab together like it's pretty awesome seeing second gen idols um, still be active even after marriage and kids and stuff like that okay so these two will go together tell what she's wearing here. Uh, oh, I guess this is, these are the same clothes, so technically this outfit continues. Then she has a, this with the suit and a digipack outfit that matches the with Moo pre-order card. So hard to put photo cards in here in this nine pocket. Hopefully that was in focus, but that is the update for Sui, Sana, and Momo from Twice. Now I'm going to be doing an update of the rest of the Twice members. And they're in this gigantic binder. And again, I did a bit of editing of the inclusions. Just a tiny bit. I try to simplify and make more room. And I got these from Japan. Like I went to Tower Records and I purchased Japanese versions of two Twice albums and a Le Seraphim album. Hoping to get a member photo card if I was super lucky, but of course I got the group card, but it's okay because it could be added to this collection now. And I already added the ready to be member cards to save a tiny bit of time and the rest of the members of twice uh, their photo cards are all in age order so it's going to be pretty simple pretty straightforward just adding these in and these are all my pulls 
Of course, I got tons of duplicates, but I'm not going to add the duplicates. And I'll just go straight into adding the ready to be photo card bowls I got. And as you can see, I got tons of Jungyun. So even this binder, even with me simplifying things, it's getting extremely full. So uh, Twice might actually have to get their own binder in the future. Okay, now Jihyo. I got her pulls quite a bit too. Jihyo and next is Dayan. I pulled a lot of this card so I have a lot of duplicates in storage. I got just like just three of the regular pulls. I guess unique pulls. Okay, next is Cheyoung. I got her Yes I Am photo cards, so it's probably going to just go up here. I just got the hot pink version and the rest are ready to be pulls. Okay, that's my twice update. So I had red velvet cards in here, but I have so many of them that now these are just inclusions or uh, duplicate photo cards, but I'll show what I have now. And these are just all duplicates. So I actually have a separate red velvet binder now. Yeah, so that's the price update. I'll grab my red velvet binder. So this binder has idols that I like to collect, but I don't really um, try to get every single photo card of theirs. I kind of like gradually collect them. And it also has the rest of the four members of red velvet in it. I'll show, if there's updates, I'll show them later. So it starts with Red Velvet group photo cards. And this one is new, so I realized I have to make space for it. And I don't know if I have that space right now, but uh, I'll make it work. This is from the happiness era, so I'm gonna have to make that first. That's a double-sided card. So I'm gonna have to move what I have over here. Perfect Velvet to the Perfect Red Velvet to RBB. There you go. To RBB. Okay, and to Psycho. Okay, so it's gonna be Psycho. Psycho over here. Sappy. Bloom. Uh, birthday. R2V and this because it was hiding in the corner. Okay, so that's the group photo card update. Alright, so we go into Silgi. Um, I realized I didn't make, <laughs> didn't make space for the happiness card. And I don't feel like... Oh my god. I don't really feel like making space right now because I've been doing this for like a couple hours. So it's going to start there for now.
so it's a little awkward right now. Um, I hope about the beat goes there. Now it's SMCU Palace. And yes, I'm at the side of the camera, so my hands are over here. Some CU Palace into Pink Christmas. Then Seasons Greetings from 2022 to 2023. Okay, so that's 8th anniversary to La Rouge Japan to R2B. And that's a Slogi update. Now we're at the joy update and it starts at birthday pre-order cards. Oh, I had more. Oh yeah. Okay, good. I have a sleeve for the rest of these. And I know I have a happiness photo card I realized I have to add in somewhere. Okay, so we finished Joy. I have one happiness photo card. So I'll put it over here. guess over here so you can see it from there and I'll make updates next time and on to Wendy and like Wendy this is the last happiness photo card because Red Velvet's debut only had four members here's Wendy's happiness photo card so I'll put it behind one of Joy's sleeves over there oh no I could just put it here and the new cards start with uh, birthday. In two seasons, greetings. And finally, with the R2B concert photo card. Now, Yeti's update starting from birthday. I actually have one more set of Seasons Greetings photo cards to add for each of the four members, well, four members of Red Velvet. And there's the Silgi edition, Joy edition, and Wendy edition. Oh, and Yeti too. that's the red velvet update now I have some other idols in this binder to update okay so the next updates are Sillian from Nmix photo cards I know I have a huge in there but uh, I still move her last so I have one LA card there and two Expergo cards and that's Solyun. Now I have some Liz updates. I have one Love Dive photo card. Um, some after like stuff. After like. 
And this is 11 Japan photo cards. This is from like their season's greetings. And finally, I think this is a concert photo card. Okay, and that's all my updates for this binder. I think after, yeah, it's just Red Velvet, Sol Yoon, and Liz. So my final binder update is next. So this initially was my boy group binder, but because I barely collect boy groups, I change it to boy group and Le Seraphim binder. So I think it's pretty much mainly Hybe, Hybe groups, but there could be like other randoms. Yeah, there's like, yeah, other boy, another boy group over here. So that's Lucas. I don't know if he's still in NTT or not. So pretty much the high binder. And I have one update, which is this unit card I got from the Seraphim's Japanese album from my purchase in Shibuya, Japan. So I guess it goes there. And I have this Gautam photo card. She's long gone from La Seraphim, but um, there's no use in selling her cards because she's not part of the group anymore, but it's still part of the history. Okay, so next is my TXT update. So I have a few Subin cards. This is actually a, a what do you call that? I don't remember the album name. Oh, Thursday's Child, Good Boy Gone Bad photo card. Um, I guess I'll put it here because that's kind of not official. And this is a Target photo card, so I'm going to put these guys in the same slot to save some space. Um, I guess I'll go into, what was this album called again? The Sugar Rush Ride Comeback. These are all soup in, but I have like two cards of the other members too. And some of these are pre-order cards while others probably are album cards. And this is from the Icon Di Festa. So I have like a bulk of cards to put away from that. This is a four ring binder. I'll just add this in no specific order. So that's the Subin update. Now we have a uh, to, oh, the name chapter temptation photo cards of Bomgyu and Yeonjun. Oh. Okay, and that's my TXC update. The rest of the photo cards are basically like a really tiny, pathetic BTS photo card collection. I, I don't collect boy groups, as you can see. So it's just from the proof. I think I gave one of the photo cards away. So this is pretty much my Le Seraphim slash boy group binder. And that was the final photo card update. The last thing I'll show are inclusion updates from my Irene binder. But other than that, that was all the photo card updates. I'm going to show the last Irene updates. I actually had a straggler here. So I'm going to put one more card away. So I actually did have three of them. I thought I only had two. I'm going to show my latest Irene Inclusions binder. So I still use this Animal Crossing binder, but this is for either photo cards that are too big or posters slash inclusions. So I like so many of these photos that I decided to have multiple 
cover pages. It's pretty much just uh, posters displayed in the binder. So I added some Seasons Greetings 2022 posters, some new inclusions I got like this one, this one, some rookie stuff. So these aren't main priority, but if I, of course, if I get a good deal, I'll add it to this collection, but this binder is getting really thick, so I don't know how much more inclusions I could add in here. But I'm just trying to fit everything I can. So I think this one's, this is new. And of course, my Feel My Rhythm, uh, Favoritism, then some birthday stuff over here. SMCU Palace, then this is some new stuff from old SM uh, postcards, then uh, this is from one of her old collaborations with the shoe brand, so apparently if you entered a code and went on this website, you could have met Irene at a station in South Korea. This is new. I believe that's new. So I try to make it in order, but it's not perfect, of course. So there might be like one or two stragglers. I've been meaning to put this in the red velvet binder, but I uh, kind of forgot about it. Uh, I moved this season's greetings photo card into this binder because I didn't want to break the sewn in pages in the other binder I have. So I just decided to put it at the top loading page instead. This is a new edition. It's like an SM Global Shop purchase. So I'm still on the lookout for a King of Hearts, but I was able to get a two of hearts. I would prefer to get King of Hearts since so it could be uniform. I don't think these are new. Um, this is new, so more Feel My Rhythm sticker film set. Added more birthday Polaroids. This is from the Cake version album. And here are some SMCU stuff. And Season's Greetings. And these are just like you know, those freebie cards that K-pop shops give. So it has some old photo shoots of Irene. And finally, I have this uh, bad boy poster that I haven't decided what to do with it, but I kind of want to keep it intact. I don't really want to trim it, so it might be just the ending page. And that was my photo card binder updates.